We're going to take a look at the coverage of the refugee story now. Not in Europe, but some 14,000 kilometers away in Australia. If they're Australia. true refugees, the where Almost 2,000 children have made the danger. If you come to Australia, Australia, Australia illegally by boat, boat. Yeah. 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 My name is Sumadhi Rahavan. My homeland is Sri Lanka. Samadhi was born into the Sri Lankan civil war, raging between the majority Sinhalese people and the minority Tamil people. Samadhi is Tamil. I was 16 when I go high school. Dad uh, going to job in early morning. That day, afternoon, two o'clock, someone bring my dad in a box. He was killed. Samadhi graduated as a lawyer after high school and worked for two years before marrying her husband and having two children. The war was an ongoing part of life. 2008, no more peace between the Nine months, we moved 14 places. Sometimes we are walking, my daughter four, I always cover her eyes, my ha hand, because he saw, oh, Mama, what is that? What is that? There is a dead dog, dead cow, and dead human. You can see everything. In April 2009, Samadhi's Tamil townspeople were forced out of their homes by the Sinhalese army and into a makeshift camp. Middle of the frost, forest, one of the van came and they provide the food, parcel of food. People line up and pushing each other, someone fall off, they stamp on them. Some children dead by people squeeze them. After a week in the camp, Samadhi was sure her family would die unless they took action. They put on the best clothes they had and tried to escape. We come out. One army look us in, hey, stop, and he's come and bring it to us. Where you go? You are escaped from here. He talk his language. He bring it to us in other man because he know the language. And he asked what happened. He said, you are escaped from the camp. Is that true? And we said, no, we lied him. No, we are not from inside. We are from outside. We are here to see someone else. Then he told Oh, you can't see them. Go, 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 go. Miraculously, Samadhi and her family escaped the camp and soon after fled the country. After seeking temporary asylum in Indonesia, Samadhi's husband attempted to reach Australia by boat. One month after he left, Samadhi received a phone call. It was her husband. He told he's allowed to talk the limited information call. Don't think about, come by boat. <laughs> this is the one word he told me. Don't think about, come by boat, very dangerous, he told. That's because his experience. Two months later, Samadhi received a call from some friends overseas who said, There's a boat going, will go from the Indonesia to Christmas Island. You can go with them. We can talk with them about money. You don't need to give them anything. Then I said, yes, because husband not call. I think, yeah, I have no choice, I need to do something. My second one is uh, two years and two months. Daughter is four and a half. Five days in the boat, and middle of the ocean. Every day I am vomiting, I, I am totally, I was sick. They told the storm is coming, the boat is broke. They are called the Australian Navy or something. They are doing something, everybody is screaming and crying. The asylum seekers were picked up in international waters nearly two weeks ago. 20 of the 78 Sri Lankans aboard the vessel appear ready to come ashore and be detained in Indonesia while waiting to be resettled in Australia. I am there with my two kids in the ocean, in the oceanic Viking, two months. From there, Samadhi and her family were taken back to Indonesia and encountered even more problems. I left the Indonesia, they put it in the jail. Myself and two kids with the door and with padlock and chain. After two long months in jail, Samadhi was approached by Australian officials in Indonesia. They told her, Australia government like to resettle you in their country. Would you like to go? Then I said, yes. I have only problem in Sri Lanka. They give me visa and they told me directly, the Australian immigration officer, we are not going to put in your jail. We are not put in your detention center. We gave you visa, we will bring you back. Samadhi and her two children boarded a plane to Christmas Island. 
She was told they were going there first so that she could be reunited with her husband. They asked, uh, do you have visa? I give it to that and he bought my visa and doing like this. Now you have no visa. You are illegal arrival because you don't have a visa. We are arrest you and put it in the detention center. Five years I was detention center. Samadhi's family spent one year in Christmas Island Detention Centre and four years in Sydney's Villawood Detention Centre. During this time, Samadhi gave birth to another child. One night, after five years of waiting, something finally happened. Night, 6.30, immigration officers came and tell within half an hour you have to go out from the detention centre. They make us very hurry. The suddenly they ask us, where are you like to go? My husband said, just Gold Coast. We don't like to stay in Sydney. We have very bad experience, five years. Soon after, Samadhi and her family were relocated to the Gold Coast of Australia. They found a house for us rent, and they give us a hundred dollar and leave it in the house. They told, two weeks after, you will get money from Centrelink. Two weeks with three children, hundred dollar they give and they go on. <laughs> that was scary. My husband got a job. My kids are in, at school. I am looking for work to do. I live for my kids. I don't like to they face what we face. They will save here. This is a good country. They will growing for a good person for them helping others and helpful people. That's why I always teach my kids. You have to help someone always.